Bella Lewitsky was a remarkable dancer. Bella was iconic. She was a legend. To me, she was like a goddess. My God, Bella could balance on a dime. It was extraordinary. She was always intensely, incomparably magnificent. The force of what she was able to do was fantastic. I am what is called a modern dancer, which is a term which describes exactly nothing. <laughs> it, it only tells you that it is not ballet. Bella is important because she created a company here in Los Angeles where there is no dance. There was a sensibility to her work, a sense of space that is from here. For over 40 years, dancer, choreographer, Bella Lewitsky has been a driving force in the West Coast dance world. She first began in Los Angeles as a premier dancer for modern dance pioneer, Lester Horton. Lester Horton loved her so much, you know, that was his muse. The technique was built on her body. There was a formal elegance in her work, but a kind of political power also underneath. Bella was a great leftist, progressive citizen of the United States of America. Are you or have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? She was summoned to identify communists in the arts. When she came out, reporters asked her, did you name names? She replied, I'm a dancer, not a singer. We chose to hold today's meeting in the same place where in the early 50s, the House Un-American Activities Committee held its investigations. I had known some about her early political life, but that didn't come up so often. And then she sued the NEA. And then it all came back out again. In June 1990, she announced she was suing the National Endowment for the Arts, challenging the constitutionality of the anti-pornography pledge imposed on all NEA grant recipients. I recognized that what I was looking at was pure, outright censorship. For me, there were many things about the way she made work that they had a different kind of power to them, knowing what she had gone through as far as just being able to make art the way you want to make art. Freedom is not a given. You have to fight for it. There is such a thing as to live, and that is food, shelter, clothing. And then there is such a thing as why do you live, and that is art.